Hey there, scientists. Today, we are going to look at the internal organs of an elephant. And you are going to be able to identify those internal organs. And you're going to be able to describe the functions that all of those organs serve. Let's do this, scientists. Welcome back, scientists. I'm Mr. Steyer, and this is Mr. Steyer's classroom. Today, we are looking at the internal organs of an elephant. Yes, that's right. We're going to peel that skin layer back, and we're going to look at the organs on the inside of an elephant. And you are going to be able to identify the structures on the inside of an elephant, specifically those organs. And you are going to be able to describe the functions served by those internal organ structures. Last time we were together, we talked about what was on the outside of an elephant. And today, yes, we are going inside of an elephant to see what we can find on the inside and identify some of those major organs. Now, as we get started today, the first question I have for you is take a moment, if you need to, pause the video and brainstorm a list of human internal organs. I'll give you a moment. Okay, so I'm assuming that you named some organs, maybe you named a brain, uh, lungs, heart, liver, uh, internal organs. So I know some of you are saying skin, but we're talking about internal organs. And what we're going to find is that a lot of those same organs that you would have identified for a human, you would also find inside of an elephant. And we're going to look specifically at those organs on the inside of an elephant. And we are going to identify their function, their purpose, like why does an elephant need them? So you're thinking about humans, you're looking at these organs inside of an elephant, and you're starting to think about other animals that you know, do they have similar internal organs? That's kind of our big question that you're, we're trying to figure out here is, when we looked at our plants, do plants have the same structure? When we look at animals, do animals have the same structure? So let's jump into this let's look closely at these organs and figure out their function their need and what they do for an elephant the first thing we have to remind ourselves before we start dissecting these organs is we have to remember that an elephant's body it needs food it needs water and it needs oxygen so you're also thinking about what other living things you know that need food, water, and oxygen, or food, water, and air. But let's get into this elephant here. So the first thing we're looking at is we are looking at, right here we have the stomach. The, the large stomach stores food and the stomach begins the process of breaking food down. Food then travels from the stomach to the large intestine. And so this is the organ where the stomach is stored and, or where the food is stored and the food starts to get broken down in digestion. So where is most of an elephant's food digested? Well, that is going to be in the intestines and specifically in the small intestine. So most of an elephant's food is digested in the small intestine. Bacteria at the end of the small intestine help break down the food. Sugars and other chemicals from the food are taken up by blood in the, in the intestine walls. Undigested food moves from the small intestine to the large intestine. All right, 
So now we're asking ourselves, looking right here, what is the function of the liver? Well, the liver produces many chemicals that are necessary for the functions of an elephant's body. For example, the liver produces bile. Bile helps break down fats during the process of digestion. So what is the liver's function? It produces chemicals that are necessary for the functions in the elephant's body. All right, moving along as these internal organs. So, so far we've talked about the stomach. We've talked about the intestines and the liver. So which of these organs are we going to find that's going to pump the blood throughout the entire elephant's body? Well, that is going to be the heart. The large muscular heart pumps blood throughout the elephant's body. Blood carries food and oxygen to all parts of the elephant's body. All right, now we're going to look someplace differently here. And we're actually looking at an elephant's teeth. So the teeth are here because they help with digestion. The teeth grind up the food, which actually starts the digestion process. The large flat teeth grind up food, starting the process of digestion. So this is a big question. It goes like this. Which organ coordinates the elephant's behavior and helps it respond to its surrounding? Which organ helps to connect everything that's happening inside of an elephant with everything that's happening outside of an elephant? Well, that's the brain. The large and highly developed brain makes the elephant very intelligent. The brain controls all of the functions of the elephant's body. It, pr it processes information, coordinates the elephant's behavior, and allows it to respond to its surroundings. So again, we have talked about the stomach, we've talked about the intestines, we've talked about the liver, we've talked about the heart, we have talked about how the teeth are part of the digestion process, we have talked about how the brain makes everything, coordinates everything inside, of an out, inside and outside of an elephant. So next up, we are going to talk about the organ that carries food from the mouth to the stomach. So from the mouth to the stomach, which organ is right here? That is the esophagus. The esophagus is the tube that carries food from the elephant's mouth to its stomach. Now, earlier, I know when you were identifying uh, organs that you might find on the inside of a human, I don't know how many of you said esophagus, but great thinking if you did, that is an organ that humans also have. And... Our last question, and that big organ that we can see here that we haven't talked about, is in fact those lungs. So, why are the lungs important? The lungs take in oxygen from the air and release carbon dioxide. Blood traveling through the lungs picks up oxygen. So, why are the lungs important? Well, earlier we identified that there are three things that an elephant needs to be able to survive. It needs food, it needs water, and it needs oxygen. So those lungs are helping the elephant to get the oxygen that it needs in order to be able to survive. In your work this week, scientists, you are going to be identifying and labeling those internal structures of an elephant. You are also going to make sure that you are able to describe the functions served by those internal organs. I just want to remind you that like a big question that we're focusing on here is like what would happen inside of an elephant if one of those organs was removed? And like we've talked about multiple times here today, team, we're trying to make a connection between the structures that are in living plants and we're trying to make a connection between the structures that are in living animals. So 
do those things overlap? Do we see similarities in all of the animals that we're identifying? Do we see similarities in all the plants that we're working with? Thanks for peeling back the skin of an elephant with me today. I am Mr. Steyer and this is Mr. Steyer's Classroom. I will see you next time. Bye.